Well, I'm here with Craig today. He's actually travelled up here from Portsmouth, so he was dying to see this fishery. We found a spot, so we're going to kick off with the method feeder. I think we're going to be on that all day, but we're going to be fishing it in different areas of the swim. Well, we're over on Loco, and Craig's into one. It's been a very interesting session so far. He's suddenly decided to put up a fight, hasn't he? <laughs> You've got quite a bit of depth at your feet on this lake, so obviously when you get the fish close in, thought that would come off then. Uh, you've got quite a bit of depth close in, so you know quite often they come in quick and then they put up a scrap near the net. So we think it's a, an F1. He's fishing the method feeder, he's just been pinging pellets at about 15 metres. I'm still trying to get the feeding right, to be honest. And this is a lovely looking peg. As you can see, we've got a beautiful, over, that, well, it's not an overhanging tree, it's actually in the water. We were going to have a drop near that shortly. But if this line kicks in, we won't need to. Still putting up a good scrap, this one. Two or three pegs along there is Alex Doherty, who works here. He's actually coaching somebody. They'll be catching some fish shallow. That wind's getting up now as well. <laughs> it's putting up a good account of itself, this one now. There we go. Beautiful, well done mate, brilliant, that's his second F1. What he's basically done is he actually started at about six metres with the method feeder initially. He was getting a skimmer nearly every cast, didn't ca catch any F1s there. Lovely fish aren't they? Just on a hard pellet, six mil hard fishery pellet. Brilliant, well done mate. Yeah, he was getting a skimmer cast just here, whilst he was picking that long line. And... Um, there are some F1s milling about out there, but we're just trying to get the feeding right to get them down on the deck. Simple bait tray. Got some corn there for later on, that's some of the F1 corn. We've got some six mil fishery pellets, they're what it's feeding via catapult. We've got a combination there of ground bait and pellet. And that is his micro pellet, fishery pellets, just in a method feeder. He's just fishing at about 15 metres. Really nice and simple today, but like I say, the fish are up in the water as you'd expect. There's quite a few anglers here today. Brilliant to see so many fishing, people fishing midweek. This wind is quite strong and blustery, but it is actually over our backs. So we're just going to concentrate on this line a little bit longer because we're trying to force the fish down, but he is getting liners all the time, so we know there's plenty of fish there. A bit better skimmer, that one. He's had loads of skimmers. We've just changed lines. These skimmers we've been catching today in Little Bream are absolutely immaculate. In beautiful condition. Go on, let's have a look. Has he unhooked himself? Yes. Brilliant. Well done, mate. No, what we've basically done now is we cannot get the fish down on the deck, believe it or not. Um, they're too high up in the water, aren't they? We, uh, they we, are, unfortunately. Yeah, we've tried forcing them down with feed and they're just not really having it. We have lots and lots of liners. So what we've basically done is we've come back literally to five or six metres. Just feeding, well, we kicked off with some nice little nuggets of micro pellets these are obviously the fishery micros just like that that's what we kick started them with just like the feeder looks when it's loaded kick started it with two or three of those and went on that and they are immediate they weren't immediately there to be fair but what we've done is we've just started packing the pellets on his feeder a little bit tighter he's got a six mil hard banded fishery pellet and uh, we had one or two indications and now uh, that time he actually left his hook bait out because a couple of times the tip's gone straight round as soon as it's hit the bottom which means they're obviously nailing it um, we've seen Alex and his client down there catching a few shallow on the pole in case you're wondering who that is that's not a really really small man <laughs> that is actually Richard Grange from the Angling Times he's actually stood in the margin there so how deep is that margin he's got chest waders on so he's doing a feature for Angling Times. I think that's going to be uh, in their paper in the next couple of weeks, I think. Um, obviously something to do with coaching related, I think. But yeah, how deep is that margin? They look really nice, these margins. We are now feeding, it's just gone two o'clock. We're feeding down this area now, where he's going to be fishing down there with uh, a method feeder. I don't think we're going to go to the right. It does look a little bit messy down there to the right. But hopefully we're going to catch down that side in the next uh, next hour or so. Well, he's literally only just cast this in. Let's see if he's getting some indications. We can see right down the rod. He's there we go. <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? Have you got it? Yeah. He's got it. Well done, mate. How long's that been in? A good 20 seconds. A good 20 seconds, okay. What we're actually doing now is... That's a little skimmer, as you can see. What we've just tried is, because they're hitting it so quickly, 
just leaving the hook bait out, just not tucking it into the into the uh, into the feeder. So as the fish follows it down, it can just nail it straight away. And as you just saw, then that was a, a twenty second method feeder skimmer. Lovely. So yeah, they're really coming to those pellets now. But like I say, we're going to be heading down this margin shortly, where we're hoping for one or two fish that are going to going to be pulling back a little bit. It's margin time now. We've been priming this spot just down here to the left. So all he's going to use, same method feeder, same rig and everything. We're just going to underarm it down down that margin. He's just had one cast on it, caught a caught a, um, a skimmer on that straight away. It was only in about a minute. Beautiful, just plopping it in nicely. Quite deep margins these, as we've said. I'm pretty sure that there's going to be some skimmers down there. We've been feeding it with micro pellets, little balls of micro pellets, and some corn as well, some F1 corn. And I think that even if it's not going to go, go around straight away, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be getting line bites and stuff. It's not tightening up to it too much because you don't want to. We don't want to encourage any liners and stuff or fish getting hung up on the line because that'll obviously dislodge the feeder. But even with a slight line, I'm sure we're going to be seeing some some indications. And obviously, if there's any hook carp or F1s, I'm pretty sure it'll be a positive bite. Alex's client there's just netting a fish. Fishing, I think he's fishing shallow still. That's Richard taking a photograph of that for the Angling Times. Good to see him catching a few. He's literally just gone down into the, the lion's den or the lion's lair and he's hooked one and it's another skimmer. <laughs> we just cannot get rid of them today. They are just mopping everything up. He actually went right down there. Let me take you down. Let me show you this. You can see what I mean by the lion's, uh, lion's den. This is not an area you really want to fish by choice, as you can imagine. It, it's uh, very snaggy, but that's where we've had to go. And he's actually put the feeder about, it's a little bit closer actually, about, about there. Obviously he's got all that to contend with if he hooks anything big and then all these stick ups down here as well. But he's gone down that side. The other side to the left dried up. He caught a few, some skimmers down there, it just went quiet. So we just thought for this last 30 minutes, we try it down there and I'm going to be very very surprised if he doesn't hook any uh, any proper fish down there but um, we just spoke to Richard Grange who's been down there with Alex and they've struggled as well they have caught a few but the fish are they are off bottom but they're slightly deeper they're about three four feet down deep down for some reason they've caught on the jigger but obviously we're fishing the feeder so we're fishing down on the deck but that's sometimes what happens on these venues, you know. You don't always know what depth the fish are going to be at. Well, he just nearly lost his rod. He's just dropped that right in that right in that corner spot down there. I said it would have been amazing if he'd not got one before the end. Just there, nearly pulled his rod in. But he's well, I say he's got it under control. He's got it closer in. We're expecting it to be another one of them F1s. Trying to get underneath his platform then. Trying to get under, that's why I was with these deep margins. It looks a good fish. But it's the right time of day, it's gone half past three now, you know, and that's certainly in a, with a, a feature like that and a margin like that, that's when you'd expect to be catching it at this time of day. Looks like it's another F1. Six mil hard banded pellet. Well done, mate. And that'd only been in about a minute or so. So yeah, we, we're looking for a, a good finish now, but I mean, you can see the tree behind him. I mean, you know, obviously it's a hit and hold kind of a method. You know, you can't let him run um, when you're hooking him where he's hooking them. Let's have a look at him. Oh yeah, brilliant, mate. Brilliant, hold on, pal. See if we can get another one. And we're back on the skimmers. They're just completely dominating this margin. They're mopping everything up. I think it'd be nice if we had a silverfish match on here, I think. I think it'd be fantastic. That two or three roach as well. Well done, mate. So yeah, it's definitely been a difficult day on the F1 and carp front, but he's caught loads and loads of fish. 
Well, he's done an absolutely fantastic job today. It's been one of those days where the F1s and carp have really been difficult to catch, but this is what we're up against in summer. The fish are up in the water. This lake here is 12 feet deep, so, you know, the fish are nowhere near the bottom. He has caught a few F1s, really enjoyed it. He's had loads and loads of skimmers, but obviously in a, in a match scenario, if you were here to try and catch as many fish as possible, then you would be fishing shallow with a pellet waggler or with the pole shallow, but it's been great trying to just have a bit of a challenge trying to catch these fish on a feeder in this slightly deeper water. So I hope you've enjoyed me sharing another angling vlog with you. If you want to see more of these daily experiences, hit subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next upload tomorrow.